Praise the Lord, saints of God, body of Christ, body of Christ. This is the prophetess of the Most Highest God. And today is 6 2023 And I was just watching videos and just meditating on the Lord. And about an hour ago, the Lord gave me a message to bring forth unto all who he loves. Remember, I am only the messenger, the mouth of the Lord. And many of you just come and attack me, but it's okay. Like I say all the time, mockers and scoffers are in the end days. And you all are bringing forth prophecy hallelujah and it doesn't really matter if you believe or not believe but I hear the voice of our Lord get down on your knees and ask him if I am not one of his messengers in these end times here we go the cry comes at midnight I heard that loud and clear. The cry comes at midnight. The cry comes at midnight. Then I closed my eyes and he showed me a vision of a clock that said 12 o'clock midnight. And this vision was given to me at 6 47 p.m. and I googled what 647 meant in a vision 647 means faithful or believe and it could also mean truly John 647 means those who believe in me have eternal life Luke 6 47 a man laying a foundation upon a rock which is Jesus the number six means imperfection no unperfection and man 47 means disaster will come upon you and you will not know how to conjure it away a calamity will fall upon you that you cannot ward off with the thunder. A catastrophe you cannot take. Oh, I read it. I mean, I wrote it so fast. Cannot or lose will suddenly come upon you and this is talking about Matthew 25 the ten virgins I asked Jesus what time is it Lord I said this in my mind and that is when he showed me the clock that showed me 12 o'clock p.m. The cry of the bridegroom to come and get his bride. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen, 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 amen. People, get ready. This shows that he is coming quickly. And the parable of the ten virgins, you all know what it is. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth, to meet the bridegroom and five of them were wise and five were foolish they that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps while the bridegroom tarried they all slumbered and slept and at midnight there was a cry made behold the bridegroom cometh, 
Go ye out to meet him. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. But the wise answer is saying, Oh, sorry. Um, then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us your oil, for our lamps are gone out. The oil is the Holy Spirit. And there is no way that we can give the Holy Spirit to anyone. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And the only one that you can get the Holy Spirit from is Jesus Christ, our Lord. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. And that's exactly what's going to happen, brothers and sisters, body of Christ, body of Christ. If you are not ready, and you don't have enough oil in your lamps, and you've been fooling around in the flesh and fooling around with the world, you are not going to be ready. That's all there is to it. For he is coming quickly. He is showing me and others he is truly at the door. And we are truly at the door, ready to go up into the kingdom of heaven. Shalom, be blessed, and we are out of here. Hallelujah, we are out of here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Be blessed.